Hi there folks, this is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 419-899-2020. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com. That's truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There is a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 419-899-2020. Again, that's 419-899-2020. For sale today, we have a 2013 Pleasure Way Pursuit. All right, folks, here we are inside of this 2013 Pleasure Way Pursuit. I'm gonna do my best to keep things familiar for you here and start out in the front of the coach, work my way towards the rear. Hopefully I'll give you a good idea of the overall condition and the overall floor plan of this unit. See if you think maybe it's the right RV for you. I want to apologize ahead of time for any filming errors or uh, bumpiness along the way here. My brother Levi, who you might be used to doing our RV tours, uh, he's not going anywhere. We just had a lot of overwhelming response to our YouTube videos. Uh, what we're doing as a whole here at Coon Truck and RV. We are a family owned and operated dealer since 1976. Started by my dad, Ron. Levi and I both grew up around here. Spent a lot of time RVing, doing stuff ourselves as kids. So it's something we've been doing for a long time and we're glad to provide these videos for you. So you'll be seeing both of us doing some of these videos here and trying to provide more content for you guys. So let us know what you're liking, what else you wanna see. We're happy to provide that for you guys. So uh, bear with me as I get used to our equipment here. All right, we're gonna start off with our command center here. Um, used to this, this is in most RVs, but there's a little more bells and whistles in this pleasure way. Uh, we've got a lot of different lights here, so you can control the lights individually, or you can go ahead and turn those off or on here, master lights. Uh, your generator start stop switch right there. Water pump, so you can go ahead and turn on your onboard water. Use that when you're boondocking maybe. Uh, master shades. The shades in this are powered day night shades. So those will go up and down with the push of a button. So if you're coming in the coach, leaving the coach, go ahead and push that button, go up and down. Panel lights if you wanna turn those lights off. This is going to be your tank monitoring system. So cycle through this, you got your fresh water, your gray tank, your fresh water, your black tank, your propane, battery voltage. So it's got an alarm, back to the fresh. A lot of overhead cabinetry in this unit. Thirty-two inch Vizio TV, DVD player. Got a nice bin here. We'll go through some of those manuals here shortly. A little inverter. Just really cleverly designed storage space here by Pleasure Way. Be hard to come by in a small RV. And really, everything's precious when you're talking about 22 feet. So, nice closet here, hang your stuff. Got the boards for the rear bed there, table leg. Just a nice space there. Your water heater, also access that from the outside. Your table, nice leather seats in the front of the unit. These match the leather seats in the back on the U-shaped dinette. Very good condition overall. Don't appear to be used, smoked in, um, that type of thing. Just a nice, well taken care of unit. Got a pull-out table here that kind of pulls over and flops down if you'd like to use that creatively how you'd like. Got a 110 outlet there, little magazine map rack, and then you've got the power awning switch there. So go ahead and push that button, run your awning in and out. Very convenient on a small RV like this. Nice kitchen in this one. Corian countertops, nice Corian backsplash, the built-in spice rack, plenty of cabinetry. Got the nice under cabinet lighting there. Just really makes this a nice feel in this RV. 
We've got the cutting board over the sink here. So you can go ahead and use it as a cutting board if you like. Use the sink. The propane cooktop here has been used as a cutting board, as you can see these character marks. But the cooktop is in plenty of good shape. So lots of life left in that if you're planning on doing some cooking. Flipping around from the sink and propane cooktop, got your microwave convection oven, two-way fridge freezer here on this one. It's got a little boo-boo there. We try to be honest here, coon truck and RV, call it as we see it. Something's not what we said it was, we'll do what we can to make it right. And if you're liking this RV, just uh, please give us a call if you're wanting to see something that's not shown on this video. We're more than happy to get you something, uh, more pictures, more video, anything you like really, to make you more comfortable with your RV purchase. Again, that's our number one goal here. We want you to be happy with what you're getting from us. Uh, that's why we do so much to go through our RVs before we get them ready. We've got a lot of customers coming from around the country and it's just important that things are right when you get here and we value that. So show you some of these cabinets. These are all separate cabinets. Uh, these two are actually connected. So just a couple little overheads there. These are all going to be separate bins. So nice size bins. Won't open all of them for you, but basically they all are enclosed like that. Except for the one in the back here is one big bin. So you can go ahead and stash a lot of stuff in there. And you've also got the TV antenna control there. Uh, sometimes we don't play around a whole lot with the aftermarket antennas. They may or may not be obsolete, but a lot of that stuff is uh, really growing and changing in the RVing market with everybody doing so much now. So yeah, just some more bins here. Flip around to this side. We've got another command center here. Uh, some ceiling lights, water heaters. So that's where you're going to turn on your water here, turn that off. Another generator start stop. Uh, you got a little more particular shade controls here. So on this one, you can do your driver side day shades, your passenger side day shades, your rear shade. So just the back shade, or if you want to just do the night shade on all of them, you can do that here. If you're laying in the bed and want to put the night shade down and go to sleep, you can click that button and it goes right down. Generator hours 764. U-shaped dinette with three lap belts on this one to take your loved ones along. Go ahead and fill the bed in here. Use the cushions from the back to make that up. The window here and across on the driver's side do open. So you can get a nice cross breeze going on a cool night. The overhead skylight does open. So you got a screen there, you can retract that screen. The plastic cover there lets the sun in. Also has a prop rod so you can open that up. Moving back here, we have the overhead air conditioner. So that's gonna run on 110, which will be your plug-in or your generator. And then you have your fantastic fan here. This does run on 12 volt. So something you can use if you're boondocking a little exhaust fan action going in here. Really spacious bathroom for a 22 foot RV. We see a lot of small motor homes here at Coon Truck and RV. But for a 22 footer, this has to be one of the most spacious showers that you're gonna find anywhere. I uh, got a sliding door here, comes across. Levi and I are both about 6'3", 220, 230, depends whether mom's cooking or we're cooking. But uh, this is a nice shower that's definitely livable and usable for guys like us. You got a nice skylight up there to give you a little extra headroom. Uh, just feels pretty close to home for a small RV. Got some nice overhead cabinets here. This thing's really just cleverly designed as far as all the cabinetry. Nice little places to stow some wash rags, soap, toothbrush, toothpaste, those types of things. Got a nice little towel rod hook there. You can uh, hang a towel or something, hang a rag. Got the sink basin here. You can go ahead and control the water pump right there. So if you'd like to turn on the 12 volt water pump to wash your hands, flush the toilet, use the shower, any of those things, you can do that. Got the commode there. We are currently throwing these toilet paper rolls in while supplies last. We do have a few rolls left of Quilted Northern for a slight upcharge. As Quilted Northern says, they are three cushiony layers. It is the purple pack. Um, so those are again available at a slight upcharge. The Charmin is gone. Um, but we do have these available that we are throwing in with every RV, standard rolls, or you can get the three-ply quilted northern for a slight upcharge. Here we are sitting in the U-shaped dinette in the rear of the coach. 
What happened to the frog's RV when it broke down? It got towed away. Really spacious, open feeling floor plan on this 22 footer, very livable space. Table mount right there. Got the propane detector, your propane furnace, fuse panel, 110 outlet here close to your bed, the thermostat, and you've got another 110 outlet over here. Just overall, really nice RV, very clean. Lots of storage on this one. Lots of drawers here in the kitchen, just really well designed. Pleasure Way does a great job as far as laying out these small RVs. Spacious, precious in here. And um, there's only so much you can do. I would like to call them how we see them here at Coon Truck and RV. This is a very nice motorhome. Our guys have gone through it completely, checked everything out. We're not perfect. Uh, we are human. We uh, we try not to think that we make mistakes. We make happy accidents. And uh, if something's not what we said it was, we'll do what we can to make it right. So come on out and see us. <clears throat> Check this motorhome out. Check any of our motorhomes out. I'm going to call this one a 9 out of 10. It's got a few small blemishes like that one there on the cabinet door. Uh, pretty nice overall. Just another mark there. Nothing major. Stuff you'd expect for a 2013 unit. With that mark on the fridge there, as you can see few small blemishes on the outside of the motorhome but as a whole a very nice 2013 unit come with this unit we've got all the manuals for the accessories got the pleasure way manual there and then we've also got some service receipts <clears throat> not a whole lot to see here uh, mostly just some general maintenance stuff the biggest one is the tire receipt for the michelin tires here in august of 2018 that was 1800 dollars. all right folks we're going to take you around the outside of this 2013 pleasure way pursuit this RV measures 22 feet bumper to bumper. It's 12 foot power awning. It has Michelin tires with a date code of 4617. This RV is built on a Ford E350 chassis. It has a 6.8 liter Triton V10 engine. This is your onboard fresh water fill. Storage compartment right by the entry door. Got your furnace exhaust and two 110 outlets in case you'd like to cook outside or watch a game. And here on the passenger side in the rear, we've got this large pass-through storage compartment, which is very nice for a motorhome of this size to have a full pass-through. And as you can see here, it does go all the way through to the other side. Take fishing poles, something large. Uh, things you can't usually take in an RV this size. Got your battery disconnect, your coach battery, your shore power cord. Got a fuse panel on the right there. Tire kit, little work light. Though we do recommend roadside assistance in your RV. Um, it's nice to be able to have somebody just come out and change your tire and take care of you. There's nothing uh, worse than being out in the middle of nowhere with nobody to help you. Full size spare on this one. You do have a tow package. Uh, you can take a small trailer with a motorcycle, perhaps, a little towing car, towed as we call them. The other side of the pass through storage. Got your sewer hose there, a little compartment, surge protector, some connectors, your fuel tank that runs your engine and your generator. And here we've got your propane fill and a sewer hose storage. If you'd like to put the sewer hose in there, you can, or you can just put it in the compartment as it is currently. At the back of your fridge, this does have an Onan 4K generator. We do have two certified Onan technicians here. This does have a fresh service, fresh oil change ready to go. So your generator's right there. Got a telephone connection the city water, propane on and off, and your shore power. And you've got the back of the water here.